Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Prayer, May 7th. It is Thursday and uh, getting towards the end of the week. Hope your week is going really well. Really well. <laughs> that was easy for me to say. I um, want to talk this morning since this is Morning Prayer. My goal is to um, to stir you to prayer, to stir you to something beyond just these few minutes that, that I spend with you live and, um, and, and talk a little bit about uh, prayer. We talked about prayer. If you were with us for a church uh, online on Sunday, we talked about praying so that prayers. And uh, if you haven't seen that, I encourage you to go back and look at that on our website. Uh, I've had quite a bit of response this week of people saying that that's really helped them in their in their prayer time. And so look at that. But let's talk a little bit more about prayer this morning. And uh, maybe when we get done with this video or this time, then you can uh, spend a little time based on what we talk about. And I want to read to you a little piece of Psalm 141, verse 2. Uh, David wrote this, and it says this, May my prayer be set before you like incense. Uh, I grew up in uh, the Episcopal Church, and uh, if any of you have ever done kind of the high church, whether it be Catholic or Episcopal or another denomination that's kind of in the higher church. Um, we had, I was an acolyte, you know, we put on the robes, carried the crosses and the flags, and but there was also sometimes the incense going out. And um, so that incense smell has a, has a trigger for me. And so I was thinking about the sense of smell and the, the, the trigger that smell has. <clears throat> Growing up, my mother wore Estee Lauder perfume. Um, that's, she wore, that's what she wore all the time. So there are times, and there have been times over the years, um, that I will see some lady at church or greet somebody, hug some lady at church, and good morning, how are you? And she's got an Estee Lauder, and it's, boom, it's, my, it's mom. Like, it triggers. And um, many of you know there's triggers that you have that are smell uh, that really that trigger something. So my neighbors... Uh, put, uh, because they love us and they're wonderful, they put a magnolia tree in for us in our front yard and we've been having blossoms. And so, man, I, I go out there just to smell the magnolias. I don't do that with any other flower. I do that because, well, that's the state flower of Mississippi where I was born and there's something about a magnolia smell that for me is like home. It, it, it triggers something inside of me. And so, um, this idea that may my prayers be set before you like incense is really the same concept that I want us to grab this morning in our prayer life and in our time praying to God. Just a few days before Passover and the crucifixion, uh, Jesus is having a meal with some of his friends and they're reclining at the table. And Mary of Bethany, if you remember the story, it's in John 12, um, opens this expensive uh, box of perfume and anoints Jesus' feet. And the, the smell fills the room. Like you can only imagine um, you've been somewhere and a smell that's either bad fills the room or a smell that's really good. Like, the you know, something like, you know, sewage is something that's or the other end of that, maybe like Cinnabon. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm a little hungry this morning. So but the 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 the, the reality of the smell and in this moment. It was so extravagant that a bunch of the disciples and the other people kind of, they grumbled, you know, and Jesus said, stop, like, let, let her do this. And, and, and I want to talk to you a minute about this concept of smell, this concept of incense and the connection to prayer and the connection to us and the connection to God. How does, how does that kind of work? So our, our prayer life, if we're honest, can get rote can get dull, can get to the point where it's just, oh, God bless me and fix this. And, you know, my cat has a hair lip or what. I mean, just we say this list and we go through the Santa Claus list. And this morning, what I'm hoping to do is kind of stir in you a little bit of an understanding of maybe that, that the intimacy of prayer from God's perspective, like from our perspective, I think sometimes we can get to the point where we just go through the list and we do, but 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 in this, David is kind of talking about something because, you know, the Bible speaks of God himself having this metaphoric sense of smell, this, this metaphoric idea of, of smelling. 
And whether your prayers are filled with concerns, uh, some of you this morning, uh, maybe you're at a place where you're just like, uh, I'm throwing my hands up, um, frustration, you know, I, I think I've asked this over and over again, um, so maybe concern, maybe your prayer is filled with worship, uh, just God, I'm so grateful for this and that. It is a sweet aroma, the Bible says, to God. And the Bible com compares the, in Revelation 5, it compares the uh, prayers of the saints to a golden bowl full of sweet-smelling incense. And so I want to think about it this way. If the smell um, of certain things can trigger uh, emotions in us, what is it like when our prayers go up like incense to God, like it triggers something in God, like it did that moment when Mary anointed um, Jesus' feet, um, it, it, triggered, it triggered an emotion inside of God. Like it's, it's amazing to think about that whether you pray this morning prayers of anguish or whether you pray this morning prayers of worship and joy, um, whether it's just a, um, you're in this mode of, well, I, I guess I'm supposed to pray. I'm going to kind of talk to God. Even in that, even in, um, even when you're praying and in that moment that you sort of feel like, is he even listening? I feel like my prayers are kind of hitting the ceiling. You know, e even in that moment, we sometimes don't recognize what is happening from God's perspective, that it is this sweet aroma, that is this, it just, it, it stirs emotion in our God. What an amazing, amazing picture to think of that reality. And David understood this. Let me read the rest of, of verse two. It says, may my prayers be set before you like incense. May the lifting up my hands be like the evening sacrifice. And so today I wanted to kind of stir us in our prayer life a little bit um, because like I say, whether you are in a place of frustration, you know, or, or you sort of feel like, man, I keep praying the same prayers. Don't feel like there's much of an answer there. Um, you know, it may just be on the other side. I mean, like you're, you're here praying, but the other side of that prayer is God. And on a daily basis, the fact that you would cry out to him is just this amazing aroma that stirs something in the heart of God. Um, and it's not that, that, that he didn't love you. It's not that he's not answering. It's, it's our God's timing is always perfect and his, high, his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Um, but I wonder if today we can grasp the, 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 the interaction that is happening in prayer, the interaction that happens with, with a good father who loves you um, so much. Man, for those of you who are parents, you know what it is for your child to just call your name. Like, you know, man, I can, I can remember, you know, the girls, like when they would say daddy. And even to this day, I mean, Crescinda's 19 years old and, and some of her friends pick on her because she still calls me daddy. She doesn't say dad, she's a daddy. And she calls us mommy. And there's just something about that that stirs something in me. And I just want you to understand today that something is stirring in the heart of your father, of God, when you take time um, just to talk to him, just to pray this morning, just to interact with him this morning. And yes, he loves you. And yes, he wants to answer your prayers. And yes, he wants to bless you. But you know what? I think he wants more than anything is just to interact with you. And maybe for some of us, we're missing the interaction because we're only looking for physical results. Like we're only recognizing that part of the interaction of prayer. And so this morning, as we finish this up, as I pray, man, let us grasp that our prayer is this sweet aroma, is this sweet incense that our Heavenly Father is just, I mean, I just... I almost get like, you know, for, for a moment, I mean, 
it's probably not good theology, but, but for a moment, you know, God has got all these things all over the world that he's concerned and listening to and all. And then when you pray, is it like for a second he sits back and, man, that's good. That's, that's amazing. That's, it's awesome to, to hear that in my child. And so uh, let me encourage you this morning to, to pray that way. Let me pray f- with you, for you, and let's consider what's going on in that moment with God. Father, thank you for this reminder this morning that as we interact with you, there's a, a sweetness in the room. There's a sweetness in your heart because we are having intimate moment with you, not just an interaction of once. So God, that we would pray and it would be that sweet aroma, that as your kids, we would take a moment to just sit in your presence and remember that this has always been about, will always be about relationship. And so we love you and we adore you and honor you this morning, asking God that, um, Remind us, we, we forget, we acknowledge our frailty and our human nature, and we just come to you with our Santa Claus list, forgetting that prayer is so much more, but it's that moment of intimacy, that moment where we have the opportunity to literally touch your heart and, and, and to touch your emotions in that. And so I thank you for that, Father, and I ask that you would help each of us in our prayer lives um, to see that interaction differently today. We thank you, God, for your love for us, your passion for us. We pray that you would be with us and guide us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take a little time and touch the heart of God today, okay? Have a great day.